Well, hello everyone and welcome to the Art Money Success Podcast. I am your host, Maria Rofi. Today we're going to talk about making money by painting murals. This is mural season in the USA right now. If there is a season for murals, summer is it. And this is the time of year I get so many questions from artists. How do I price my wall mural? How do I write a proposal? What things do I need to look out for? How do I get mural projects in the first place? I am going to answer all of these questions over the next couple podcasts. And in this podcast, I'm just going to talk a little bit about how lucrative mural painting can be. And for those of you who aren't sure what I mean by lucrative, I mean you can make a really good living painting murals. There are a lot of muralists out there that where that's all they do is paint murals. Some of them stay local. Some of them travel the world painting murals, which is really fun. And then, of course, there's other artists like my husband, Drew Brophy, who paints murals, but only sometimes. And it's a great income, a great additional income and supplemental project that you can do in addition to everything else that you do as a professional artist. We've really got how good you can um, make a living with murals back in 2012. And I've talked about this in my blog posts and in, in a lot of things that I've written about. But in 2012, things were really tough for Drew and I. We you know, as you probably know, if you've been following me for a while, Drew's art is what supported our family of four at the beach for over 20 years. And when the crash of 2008-2009 hit, we were in trouble financially. 2012, we were still struggling. We still hadn't pulled out of that hole. And it's funny because we came up with this idea. We said, you know, we're not really making any money. None of our projects are coming through. Like all the companies and the people we used to do commissioned art for either went out of business or lost their jobs or went broke or whatever. So it trickled down to us and we were really struggling financially. So we said, well, what the heck? I mean, why show up to our studio every day? If we're not making any money. Let's just drive across country, have some adventures and see if we can dig up some work somewhere else. And boy, did that work. So we drove across country. We had a great time. We took, took our two kids at the time with us. And when we got to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, which is where Drew grew up, we got hired to paint this giant wall. I think it was 62 feet long, 15 feet high outside this place called Lulu's Cafe. And it was great because first of all, we got paid really, really well. And it was a really fun project. It was also really, really hot because if you've ever been outside in Myrtle Beach in August, yeah, it was pretty hot, but it was great. And while we were there, other people, other business owners driving by and seeing the mural project that we were doing said, oh, well, I have a business. I'd like you to paint a mural for me too. So we ended up staying in Myrtle Beach longer than planned. We ended up staying there for quite a few months, making money, going from restaurant to restaurant, painting murals. It was great. We also did a mural project with students at Furman University at that time as well. I've learned so much about murals. And of course, you know, I don't do the art part. That's Drew's job. But I do the pricing and proposal part. And I learned so much over the years, particularly what to look out for, how to prevent you from losing money and, and how to get paid the right amount of money for the work that you're doing and for the value that you bring. So I'm going to be talking about that stuff over the next few podcasts. And I also want to let you know that I have this mural proposal template that I created a few years ago that has helped so many artists 
figure out how to price their murals. And I have a complete template for a professional proposal that you can use to present to your clients. It took me years to perfect it and I'm now sharing it with you all. And um, you can find it on brophyartacademy.com. And I'll also put a link to it in the notes, in the uh, description, the show notes of this podcast. If you have any questions that are burning in your mind about painting murals, how to price them, how to avoid problem clients, how to solve issues, all that stuff, sign up for my newsletter. Link is in the notes. And once you sign up and you get that first email from me, you can hit reply and say, hey, Maria, I have a question that you can answer in your podcast right now for me. And I will answer that. That's really um, what I love to do is just to answer people's questions rather than throw stuff out there. So stay tuned for my next podcast on mural, the on the business of murals, pricing, proposing, and how to get mur mural projects. All right. Thank you all. Have an awesome day. Bye.